weather on NBC 10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. A lot of clouds over the next couple of days. It does not look like a lot of those will be producing rain, but we're still plagued by this weather system offshore. Low risk for any showers and a trouble brewing in the Gulf of Mexico, unfortunately. The winds are still going on Cape Cod. Some of those gusts over 20 miles an hour. The temperatures have settled back already into the 50s. Some breaks in the overcast from time to time to allow us back into the mid-50s through Nashua. This after, uh, you know, some parts of the Cape are pummeled by a mere six to nine inches of rain over the last few days. Enough of that, right? Yeah, we're done. And it looks like anything we get from here on out would be sprinkles through Cape Cod or on the coastline, for that matter. 55 in Boston tonight, Natick about 50, 48 in Norwood, and we could have a smattering of low 50s from here and there. The only thing keeping us from really having a chilly, chilly morning in the 40s widespread would be the cloud cover. So it's kind of a catch 22. Now tomorrow, limited sun at best, if we see it at all, there will be onshore winds and some more clouds through the rest of the day. And any green blobs that pop up will be very brief. That'd be a quick sprinkle, and I don't expect us to see much of that. I think the chances are pretty small. Tuesday, same. Although, maybe a little bit more sunshine in the afternoon. I'm a little bit more optimistic on that. And then more clouds come in on Wednesday, too. So this, again, is a cloud issue for the next few days. Very fall-like in that matter. Uh, only about a 10% chance that we see a sprinkle tomorrow. So go about your business and enjoy these cooler temperatures. If you enjoy 60, 64 for a high tomorrow in Boston, 66 in Natick, Attleboro about 66 degrees. And Tuesday, much of the same with that blend of clouds and sun, heavy on the clouds, light on the sun. As we go through the end of the week, we have a better chance of seeing a few showers by Thursday. That'd be our wettest day this week. And it looks like, you know, peaks of sun here and there, but we stay pretty much around 64, 65 in the city all the way through the middle of the week. So it's kind of a ho-hum in that sense. Down in the tropics, not so much. Off the coast of Guatemala and Honduras, you see this plume of clouds, and that would be a developing tropical wave, which could become a tropical storm. Now, this is going to undergo rapid intensification, it seems, in the Gulf of Mexico. So it seems like maybe start advisories tomorrow on Monday and close to landfall on Thursday. That's about three days or so of this weather system kind of getting a forward speed and a head start here into the Gulf of Mexico. For us, no, the showers and rain from that, not in the forecast anytime soon. Those showers coming from a different weather system on Thursday into Friday. The temperatures may get a bump, though, just because the wind changes direction, going from the east more to the south. And then the weekend, kind of questionable at this point. Temperatures close in on 70 degrees, but with a tropical system back through the Mid-South near Memphis and back near Nashville, I, you know, that's still always weird, and uh, it can always mess up the forecast timing and the extended forecast from Saturday into Sunday with any other weather systems, even though it's not coming our way. That's it.